Опять Хабиб. Да, приятно смотреть на Хабиба. Очень жесткий удар да, пропускает. Да, Обоюдный захват. И смотрите. Хабиб Нурмагомедов. Despite Habib's enormous popularity and the millions of eyes that have watched his UFC career, there are still gaps in the Eagles' early flight. We have compiled rare footage and all of Nurmagomedov's performances, many of which did not make it into the official record, to find out how one of the most dominant fighters in history was forged. As Habib himself likes to point out, he took his first steps in the gym, training under the guidance of his father, Abdul Manap, from a young age. Nurmagomedov Jr. grew up under Spartan conditions in the small mountain village of Kiravaul. I sold the four bowls to set up the very gym where it all started. When he was 11 years old, the Nurmagomedov family moved to the capital of Dagestan, Makhachkala. Abdul Manap rented a place, refurbished it a bit, and started teaching combat sambo. However, the son did not end up on his father's A-team immediately. In order for Habib to get used to grappling in a jacket, Abdul Manap initially enrolled him in judo. Later, the Eagle expressed interest in Wushu Sanda, and only at the age of 16 did he focus on combat sambo. In 2005, Abdul Manap took Habib to a training camp for the first time and put him through the ringer. According to the Eagle, this was a lot of pain, perseverance, hardships, and small victories over himself. After successfully passing the challenge, Nurmagomedov started actively competing in combat sambo. Wearing a jacket, Habib won over a hundred matches. Although he would go on to conquer the world championship twice, losses were also part of the journey. The most bitter one took place during the 2008 Russian Championship Final. The match was tightly contested on the feet. With Habib failing to secure a single takedown. Just like his adversary. They were even on points, so the judges decided the outcome, siding with the red corner. When the verdict was announced, the young Nurmagomedov couldn't hold back his emotions. At the same time, watching Fedor Emelianenko's dominant run in Japan, and later the successes Georges Saint-Pierre had across the ocean, he realized that mixed martial arts were the way to go. Ah, have you Tito Ortiz? Eighteen-year-old Habib signed up for an amateur Pankration one-day tournament organized by UFC veteran Alek Taktarov. Pankration was an Olympic discipline in ancient Greece, since BC. It's still practiced in Russia to this day, and its rules resemble MMA a lot. After a fake left hook, the Dagestani changed levels in an instant. On the ground, he climbed into mount, locked in a triangle choke, and switched to an arm bar. Nurmagomedov entered the quarterfinal planning a quick finish, a sharp kick, and a wickedly fast shot. Following a brief struggle, the Sambo wrestler effortlessly passed the guard and seamlessly transitioned to an arm triangle. Enjoying a tremendous advantage in skill, Habib stuck to the same reliable game plan in the semis. After landing a counter hook, he took action to the floor. Within his own domain, Nurmagomedov secured another submission in just 25 seconds. Smoothly running through the whole bracket, he eventually encountered some resistance in the finale. His Dagestani counterpart was also well versed in wrestling. But still couldn't withstand the Eagle's pressure as the rounds went on.
Habib achieved a hard-fought victory, displaying not only technical ability, but also mental strength. The triumph in the Grand Prix determined Nurmagomedov's future, convincing him to focus on mixed martial arts. He never looked back ever since. In November 2008, Khabib participated in yet another Pankration Grand Prix, along with other future UFC fighters, Alexander Volkov and Ali Bagautinov. Tasked with beating four opponents in just one day, the Eagle broke into the clinch right away and chained two trips together beautifully. After sliding into mount, he established a triangle in quick fashion. In the quarterfinals, Nurmagomedov landed a sharp counter and expertly timed a shot. An armbar attempt followed. And the ref erroneously intervened. The fight was resumed on the feet, but the Sambo master put it back on the mat. and got the job done. The semis got off to a heated start. Khabib dove in for the hips when things cooled down. And was active on top. Я слежу за соревнованиями по боевому самбо, по панкратиону. Вот смотрите, какая у него интересная техника, да, добивания. The rival pushed back and even pulled off a chest throw. Нет, в среднем на турнире в весовых категориях. Nevertheless, the Dagestani never stopped pressing. Продолжает развивать атаку, видите, опять атаковать и бить руками сверху. Опять мы видим вот это универсальное его добивание в прыжке через ноги и... Scoring a well-deserved decision. In the battle for all the marbles, Nurmagomedov went against Islam Mamedov. The teammates locked up in the over-under clinch. And the eagle took off with a flying armbar. Обоюдный захват и смотрите, Абиб Нурмагомедов производит... A levitating end to the night and another title for the young prodigy. И становится чемпионом... Although Habib had already turned pro by 2008, he continued to show up at amateur pancration tournaments nonetheless. In 2010, he registered for the Moscow Open Championships. Unwilling to cut much weight, the Eagle entered the 165-pound division. Nurmagomedov surprised by throwing some hands. And trying new things. Once he decided to stop playing games, the stand-up portion was over. After an easy single leg, Nurmagomedov forced the tap in a matter of seconds. The cleaning lady had her hands full that night, so Habib volunteered to help her during the semi-final. He dominated on the ground, constantly aiming for the head. By the end, the Dagestani gave up trying to seal the deal on the ground and let the fists go. In the final, the opponent seeing Habib in Muay Thai shorts was expecting an all-out brawl and fell for the trick. It's worth noting how twitching and faking helped Nurmagomedov set up the shot. Once back to striking, the eagle exploded with a hook and immediately settled in a crucifix. The referee kept standing them up, but the script was on repeat. But we see that there are no injuries. 
Опять Хабиб. Да, приятно смотреть на Хабиба. Русской техники, конечно. Превосходит соперника, хотя и сам Мусаев. Нурмагомедов poured on some more and added a new trophy to the wall. Ну, я думаю, любой, любой, каждый спортсмен через это проходит. Ну, конечно, Нурмагомедов Хабиб побеждает. Единогласным решением судей выигрывает он без проблем. Khabib first hit the professional scene at an event in Ukraine. The 19-year-old prodigy faced off against Vusal Bayramov, who was also making his MMA debut. The opponent was throwing snappy kicks, which clearly didn't sit well with Nurmagomedov. He expertly timed a takedown. Progressed into a dominant position threw his shin over the head and closed a triangle choke while delivering a series of strikes the eagle cut off the oxygen supply a month later Habib enlisted in an old-school eight-man format tournament The Dagestani worked his patented game, shooting lightning-fast takedowns. The weapon of choice on the floor was ground and pound. He fought three times in a span of one and a half hours, smashing all the opposition with confidence. After the victory, Nurmagomedov was given a microphone and got confused for the first time that night. In 2009, Habib performed on home soil a couple of times and was subsequently noticed by the largest Russian promotion, M1. They matched him up against the national Muay Thai champion and the future Bellator Grand Prix winner, Shahbulat Shamalayev. Khabib's walk-off to the music of Rammstein, which was chosen by the organizers, turned out to be a memorable one. Shamhalayev enthusiastically pressed forward with left hooks. The eagle was not going to trade punches with the elite striker and executed a trip. Shahbulat wasn't new to grappling either and successfully countered Khabib's attempt to take mount. From underneath, Nurmagomedov constricted his favorite triangle, switching to an arm lock in the process. Once on top, the eagle hammered in a couple of nails and went for a limb. The foe showed lots of grit. Yet the Sambo wrestler did not let the arm go this time. According to Habib, this victory is one of the most valuable in his whole career. The Eagles record improved to 7-0 in the span of a year. Talent, desire, perseverance, all these factors contributed. But discipline remained the foundation. Under his father's watchful eye, Habib lived in constant pursuit of self-improvement. By the end of the 2000s, a new generation of Abdul Manap students had matured. As MMA gained in popularity, young Sambo wrestlers ended up in the ring more and more often. Among them was the reigning UFC champion, Islam Makhachev, Nurmagomedov's main sparring partner from early on. Sweating in a cramped gym, both had little idea of what lay ahead. The training is over. To my right is Islam Makhachev. He is prepared for the world championship in combat sambo. In the summer of 2010, Habib competed in the welterweight division against the future ACB champion and grappling world champion Ali Bagov. At the start, Nurmagomedov ran into a takedown, but reversed the position pretty quickly. 
On top, he would rain down headbutts, which was legal. The Dagestani put the experienced wrestler into an endless defense cycle. Вовлекает вот в такое положение, положение обороняющегося. Нурмагомедов работает сверху, работает активно и головой, наконец... And took an important victory by decision. Он продолжает свою беспроигрышную серию. Three months later, he returned to M1. Spending the beginning portion on the feet, by the 32nd mark, Нурмагомедов got back to his usual strategy. Представник Кавказу себя почувает Хабиб Нурмагомедов. When the armbar attempt failed, he decided to go the rough way. Following an avalanche of unanswered blows, the eagle pressed his forearm into the guy's throat, achieving a bully-style stoppage. Appearing in the arena with pomp, in his 10th performance, Habib clashed against Pankration world champion Alexander Agafonov. The Dagestani phenom was getting chewed up with low kicks at the outset. Low kick with the Agafonova. But made the adjustments and came up with an answer on the fly. Nurmagomedov looked like a bulldozer on the mat. Never relieving the pressure for a second. By round three, the opponent got tired polishing every corner of the ring with his back and politely refused to continue. In the spring of 2011, the 22 year old Khabib signed a deal with the Russian League Pro FC. It was the most promising promotion in the post Soviet region at the time, one that would produce many prominent competitors. The first contract mentioned the name Saeed Khalilov, whose track record included over 25 fights. Nurmagomedov stress tested the ring surface and dished out a hefty serving. After smashing into side control, he immediately snatched a Kimura. A month later, the promotion matched up the Eagle with a newcomer, Ashot Shakinyan. Facing a freestyle wrestler, Khabib elected to strike. He could sense the finish coming and did not take his foot off the gas. Giving the enemy some space for a moment, Nurmagomedov leaped in with a hook and called on the referee to intervene. Можно, можно бить, ну да, ну нокаут пока. In his third outing under the Pro FC banner, Khabib battled Kajik Abajan, whose record of one and one left much to be desired. The announcer called Nurmagomedov "bad boy," which made him smile. Bad boy. The antagonist welcomed Khabib with a hard counter. So the bad boy decided not to engage in a kickboxing battle. In accordance with the game plan, Nurmagomedov assembled an armbar. But couldn't create the desired angle and effortlessly switched to a triangle.
Khabib! With 13 wins in a row, Khabib has developed into one of the best lightweights in the country. With the goal in mind of making it to the US, he continued to improve his record. In 2006, Hamis Mamedov had defeated Nurmagomedov in a combat sambo tournament, and now, five years later, it was time for revenge. The eagle delivered a hook, grabbed a tight body lock, and wished his man a pleasant flight. Dragging the duel into deep waters, he seamlessly moved to the mount and drown the offender in the Bermuda Triangle. A few weeks later, Habib returned to the front line. The opposite corner was occupied by Vadim Sandulski, the champion of Moldova in combat sambo, who was making his professional MMA debut. He perfectly knew what Nurmagomedov was going to do, but he could do nothing about it. With little resistance, the Dagestani progressed to his favorite position. Framed off the victim and locked the third triangle in a row. By the end of 2011, Khabib was on the verge of signing with the UFC, awaiting the last test before crossing the ocean. It came in the face of Ari Marcel Chocolate Santos, a vet with almost three times more experience. The Brazilian opened up the bout with multiple kicks and shot in with an unexpected takedown. Nurmagomedov used the ropes to his advantage and had a point deducted for it. As soon as the meeting resumed, the eagle floored the impudent foe. He must have been imagining himself in a Las Vegas arena while getting the job done. In the first three years of his professional career, Habib fought 16 times and never met his equal once. After running through the local scene, he signed a contract with UFC. The list of Russian fighters in the ultimate promotion before him, one could count on the fingers of one hand. Taktarov, Zinoviev, Suloyev, Semyonov, Chalangov. But since Nurmagomedov arrived, a litany of athletes from ex-Soviet countries joined the roster, many of whom now occupy the higher ranks of multiple divisions. Having traveled an incredible journey from a small mountain village to worldwide stardom, the Nurmagomedovs not only earned respect for their style and brought glory to Dagestani wrestling, but also paved the way for other fighters from Russia and neighboring countries. That impact cannot be overestimated. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video and want to see more rare footage of iconic fighters, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport.